I will be playing the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. This is my first time playing it. Just downloaded it recently. And let's see how good it is. Alright, so we have eight games. And a bonus book. Alright, now... The original Castlevania, um, 1987, I uh, did play this one on the original Nintendo the year it came out. <clears throat> I never beat it. Right off the bat. I can tell you that I wish the jump and the action buttons were reversed, but uh, that's all right. I'm not going to be playing much of each of these games for this video. Um, just maybe like the first level or till I run out of lives, whichever comes first, uh, because I want to uh, just experience a sampling of each game. Just money. Gotta say, even though it's 8-bit, I still love all the uh, bright colors. Music is still pretty good. as good at this as I used to be. Fourteen-year-old me would be laughing at me right now. a boomerang. I'll keep the axes until the uh, boss. Oh, it shouldn't be much longer. I think that's it. Oh, he's 
bugged me that hearts are ammunition. This is one of the original best side-scrolling action games. And, um, alright. But that's enough of that one for now. Alright. Now I'm not gonna play much of Simon's Quest because it's not really it's set up in levels. But I will play it for a few minutes. I uh, this I do have I don't like this one that much, but I do have some fond memories of it. Um, when I was uh, uh, when this first came out, um, I would have been in, I don't know maybe eighth grade, um, and I would. Um, play this. We rented it one time with a friend of mine named Andy. And he, um, he did most of the playing while I was, you know, help, trying to help him with mapping and tips and stuff like that. Uh, and we did manage to beat it over the course of the weekend, although it did take a couple of calls to the Nintendo hotline. Um, but basically, this has uh, this is kind of takes a different approach. It adds more RPG elements to the game. Um, the uh, I mean, you keep getting like experience points and upgraded whips and um, just all kinds of uh, better weapons and. You have to solve puzzles, and you have more than one way to go, like when you see a, uh, you'll see a like, set of stairs going in each direction, and they'll take you to different towns, and that, you know, it's got little things that remind me of Metroid, little things that remind me of the first and second Zelda games. Um, it does this thing where every once in a while it changes to nighttime, and the enemies get harder. No longer people to talk to in the towns when it's nighttime. But it's also known for having some of the stupidest puzzles. Ah. Um, because the uh, the townspeople who talk to you have stupid clues. And here comes nighttime. I was never very good at this one either. There we go. But, um... I mean, I remember there's one particular puzzle we had to call a Nintendo hotline for involving getting a uh, tornado to appear to take you somewhere. And, um, it was kind of late in the game, but... Anyway, uh, and it's like... But it's just where you have to use a specific item. Uh, you know, it's just like... Nobody could figure this out with us, some sort of strategy guide or something, you know. So, uh... Yeah, this game has some issues. The bosses are a little easy. Um, in fact, there's one boss that you can just walk right past because you don't need the item they give you. Oops. Ah. So yeah, here's another town. And if 
I were really playing, I'd probably have tried to buy a better whip by now or something, to, because all these enemies are taking so many hits to kill. But anyway... So let us go to another game. Alright, Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. I never actually got to play this one. I, uh, by the time this came out, I was doing other things on the Nintendo. Um, and I just came at it just the wrong time. So I don't really know what to expect here, although I did... I remember wanting to play this. So I'm just going to be playing for a few minutes. because you never know which ones are going to have, like, food or something in them, although I don't really need food right now. Well, it's... So far, it's, like, more of the same as the first one, but it's... I do like the graphics. I mean, for an 8-bit game, anyway. Never was a big fan of the holy water. Not really of axes either. It's I mean, if the game doesn't have boomerangs in it, then my favorite is pretty is pretty much just gonna be like the dagger. Still, axes can't come in handy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
Really low on health. Of course. Just can't let me be full health on the boss, can you? Castlevania 3. Alright, next. This was one of my favorite games of all time. This was the first really good game I got for the Super Nintendo. And, um... This one I have beaten many, many times. really like the music in this game, the controls. I'd love it if they'd remake this one with like HD graphics. This one lets you whip in any direction and wave your little whip around a little dangly. You can swing across chasms with it. And they tried to throw in this Mode 7 special effects everywhere they could. <clears throat> Sometimes I get this level's music stuck in my head for days. for instance.
this is everything I want out of a Castlevania game. I just wish it was a little less pixelated looking. Accidentally pick up a dagger. Dag gummit. Or dagger gummit. walk across the little things, you can't jump on them or they'll flip over. And the first boss is coming up. the Super Nintendo version. Alright. Okay, next up we have the Castlevania Adventure for Game Boy, which I am not going to waste more than a couple of minutes on, because, um, it's, uh, I, I honestly, I'm not sure the Game Boy game should have even been included on this set. Um, they don't really age well, as you'll soon see. I did have this one for the Game Boy, by the way. Um, the first couple of years the Game Boy was out, they were starving for really good games. But and I liked this one at the time. It was pretty fun um, for a Game Boy game. You know, any, pretty much anything you say about the original Game Boy, you have to say for a Game Boy game. 
because, um, you know, this just was never meant to be played on an HD TV. Still, I do like the, you know, shooting fireballs out of my whip thing. I like these ropes better than stairs. And I do like giant eyeballs. Giant eyeballs are cool. Alright, that is all the time I'm going to devote to that. Alright, and then the other Game Boy one. Which I'll also not devote much time to. <clears throat> this one was a little bit like Mega Man in that you can tackle the stages in different or in whatever order you want. But I'll just go with the first one here. No, I did not own this one. <laughs> As if he didn't walk slow enough already. that you can use your whip while hanging onto the uh, row. I approve of that. the second Game Boy version. So. Alright, now. Bloodlines. Uh, I didn't have a Genesis. I was a Super Nintendo fanboy uh, back in the day. So I never got to play Bloodlines. And I always kind of wanted to. So I am very glad I finally get to do that. play Castlevania, you want to use a whip. I mean, what, why... You know, if you want to use a spear, that's some other game. This one takes place like around World War I. And it involves like Dracula's niece or something. It's like turned out to, to be in the one who calls World War I somehow or something like that. And you're not even a Belmont in this one, but you are like a distant relative of his. The graphics are pretty smooth. The guy didn't look so much like an action figure, but, um... <laughs> this is where Super Nintendo always showed off its Mode 7. Genesis would show off its gore wherever it could, because it knew that Super Nintendo wasn't allowed to do that, at least in the beginning. So yeah, 
show off your strengths. Good controls. As much as I like the Super Nintendo one, I think this one has more personality. Dracula, which was never released in America. It's for the 8-bit Nintendo again. Apparently you get a trophy just for trying all the games. <laughs> it's 
like a uh, Wonder Boy. This is really cute, it has lots of charm. I don't see myself playing much of it. I wish they could emulate the games without emulating the flickered stuff. plays experience perfectly. That's Kid Dracula. And then we came with a bonus book. I don't know how this works. Ah. It's pretty cool. You can see everything. Spox. Japanese and American versions for some of them. Really nice. That is a nice little bonus. I don't know if I'll use it much, but you know, uh, it's really cool that it's there. So yeah, this entire collection, it, I think it's worth the money. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, enjoyed showing it off. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe.